the first half financial performance once again underpinned the quality and resilience of our core mining businesses, which both stood up well to the challenges of COVID-19. While in oil and gas, we navigated well through extremely challenging market conditions in North America, where drilling and completion activity was around 50% lower year on year. That left group revenues at £1.1 billion, 17% lower than last year, and operating profit at £133 million, £39 million lower than last year, mainly due to those oil and gas market conditions. Indeed, operating profit across minerals and ESCO combined was broadly in line with the same period last year. Looking at each of the divisions and starting with minerals, orders were down 6% and the aftermarket down only 4% especially resilient against the backdrop of ore production in the second quarter, peaking at around 15% lower than the prior year, as a number of mines were forced to close around the world. From a profit perspective, we delivered £113 million of operating profit in minerals, with the impact of lower sales volumes and under-recoveries, as we were forced to close a number of our factories during the second quarter, being offset by the benefits of COVID-specific cost savings that we announced earlier this year. That left operating margins at 17.3% within our normal range and in line with the same period last year. ESCO was slightly more impacted by COVID given their exposure to construction and infrastructure markets, especially across North America and Europe. And that left orders down 17%, but also uh, those orders being impacted by an element of destocking. Revenues are more reflective of underlying demand and those were down 10%. Um, and for core mining GET, down only 6%, broadly in line with our minerals aftermarket. We were especially pleased with the profit performance in ESCO, delivering £42 million of operating profit and operating margins of 16.1%, up 190 basis points on the prior year. And that was really the effect of those lower sales volumes and margins being offset by the final tranche of the $30 million of cost synergies and indeed incremental cost savings in response to COVID that we announced earlier this year. So taking all that together, we remain well on track for achieving our 17% target for operating margins that we set at the time of the acquisition. Looking at oil and gas, uh, revenues followed the market down 48% in the period and the cost action that we took uh, minimising operating losses and a strong working capital performance, ensuring that we generated a positive operating cash flow in the period. Looking at operating cash across the whole group, we were really pleased with a strong performance there, uh, with operating cash flows of £192 million, uh, significantly higher than last year, supported by a strong working capital performance, especially in debtors, where debtor days were 13 days lower than the same period last year. That left net debt to EBITDA at 2.6 times, and uh, notwithstanding that strong cash performance, the board's taken the decision not to propose an interim dividend given uh, outstanding COVID risks as we look forward and also our focus on deleveraging. So in summary, an excellent, uh, another resilient performance from minerals delivering good operating margins. Uh, ESCO well on track for the 17% operating margin target that we set at the time of the acquisition and oil and gas notwithstanding the challenging market conditions continuing to make a positive cash contribution to the group. And from a balance sheet perspective, we were very pleased to have concluded the refinancing of our core banking facilities in June this year, uh, which ensures that we've got significant liquidity headroom and also an extended maturity profile to our debt.